Pisces, how's it going? This is your love reading for November 1st through November 7th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, check out your other signs. If you don't know them, just Google birth chart. Super easy to find out. Pisces, what's up? Good going. Wow, guys. All right. Three out of five so far majors. Your overall energy is the five of cups. What has you so sad? Um, okay, so the five of cups is basically, it's sadness, but it's not major it's not like crisis type energy. Um, it's just, you know, melancholy. You're looking at all of these cups that you have in front of you spilled out, right? Three of them. Here, I don't know if you can see it, but you have three spilled out here. You're looking at those. There's still two standing, but you're not seeing those because you're too focused on the shit that already happened in the past. Okay? So basically, it's, you need to come out of that mindset of focusing on stuff that you can't change it's already happened because you do still have two cups standing there um, and this is your energy as well as cancer and scorpio okay your recent past you have the king of wands aries leo sagittarius you could have dealt with them in the past maybe you still are who knows um either way king of wands is very passionate very creative um goes after he goes after what he wants is usually a pretty attractive person <laughs> whether that's you or them you know whatever your present awesome card temperance this is Sagittarius if that means anything to you you may be dealing with a Sagittarius currently if not temperance is balance it's harmony your how do I want to say it your inner self and outer self are in balance you are in harmony um, you have patience, you know, you're good to go, you're chilling. Now in your future, you have the tower. Um, the tower is something unexpected, you know, something you can't prepare for. So while you can see in the future that this tower moment is coming, you can't do anything about it. And it only comes when something is built on an unstable foundation. If your foundation was stable in whatever this is, you know, the lightning wouldn't be able to knock it over. Make sense? Um, so the tower always comes to knock down what isn't working for you so that you can rebuild something that is working for you. And it's always shocking, okay? Um, now down here in your outcome, you have strength. This is Leo energy, if you could potentially deal with a Leo in the future. Um, either way, it's strength. You have strength. You're being strong. You're good to go. Even after this tower happens, you are strong as shit. Um, so, and keep in mind that the tower is in the future. It's not in the present. So that could always change too. Say there is something that isn't working for you and you change it yourself, then the tower doesn't have to happen, right? If things keep going the way that they're going, though, then you have the tower moment. And I don't know what that's pertaining to for you. Um, all right, and obviously these both just flew out, so we'll take them both. These are to clarify your five of cups up there in your overall. You have the knight of pentacles, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be dealing with one of those. Knight of pentacles is forward movement, but it's slow as shit. Um, don't expect anything to happen right away, but it's because the Knight of Pentacles is so stable and grounded that he absolutely likes to know what he's getting into before he gets into it, okay? Whether that's you or the other person, um, you do have forward movement, but it is very slow. But keep in mind that because it's so slow, it's legit, it's real, okay? You also have the Three of Wands. 
fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is looking ahead to the future. It's could be travel. Maybe you're traveling to see someone. Um, doesn't have to be. It's just you looking ahead. It's, you know, starting to build a foundation. Okay. Could be long distance relationship too, guys. All right. And if it is a long distance relationship, I'd say it's probably with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Let's clarify temperance for you in the present. Maybe you have to travel to see your earth sign. Um, that could be. Clarify temperance for Pisces in their present. Shit. All right. Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. You are balanced and you're getting your wish. You feel completely fulfilled, you're good to go. Um, this is also water energy, so it's your energy as well as Cancer and Scorpio. So you have balance, you have wish fulfillment. You could, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius that is like your wish come true, that could be. Clarify the tower for Pisces in their future. Page of Cups. There could be an unplanned pregnancy coming. Um, so, here. Pages are kids or young energy or messages. So, since it's with the tower, that's an unplanned, shocking event. It could definitely be an unplanned pregnancy, either with a water sign or what your kid's going to be a water sign or something. I'm not sure. Um, could be a kid. Could be something pertaining to a kid that you already have. Um, could be somebody comes in and tells you that they're pregnant and you're in complete fucking chaos you're like what the fuck that is a tower moment um some are better than others right so i mean i don't consider that something bad but some people do so anyway page of cups otherwise it is it's an apology it's a message of love it's you declaring your love to someone it's someone declaring it to you and it's completely out of the spec out of, yeah out of the ordinary unexpected so say you get a message from somebody and they're like eh, you know I love you I want this with you and you're like what the fuck I had no idea that can be a tower moment too okay um, or something happens in your world you have this tower moment and you feel like you have to go tell someone else how you feel all right clarify strengths for Pisces we can't take all six cards that just fell, guys. We just can't. Clarify strength for Pisces. Okay. So, five of swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with one, don't have to be. Um, it's conflict. It's petty conflict. Um, like some back and forth communication that's probably pretty shitty. Okay. Um, but you have strength with it, all right? You're strong enough, you know, just try to not, you know, stay away from the petty conflict. Stay away from the back and forth, the arguing, the whatever, harsh communication, you know? Um, what else do we have here? What do we want to clarify, guys? Let's clarify your Nine of Cups. What is this wish? Clarify the Nine of Cups for Pisces. No present. Ooh. Wheel of Fortune. That is good luck. It's good fortune. It's good karma. Um, awesome, awesome card, guys. You have Temperance with Nine of Cups in the middle. Wheel of Fortune. That is fucking amazing. All right? So, Wheel of Fortune. It's a reminder that life moves in cycles, right? So now it's your turn to be on top. The wheel's turning in your favor. That's good luck in your favor. Um, 
I mean, with Temperance and the Nine of Cups, that's you are definitely getting whatever it is that you wanted in love. Whether this is a relationship or someone that you want a relationship with, it's definitely you're definitely getting what you want here. All right, and it's stated it's destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is um, it's faded. It's from the universe, you know. Clarify the tower again for Pisces. Justice. Libra energy if you're dealing with a Libra. Otherwise, it's exactly what it says. It's justice. So you get justice in some sort of situation. Something happened that was shocking, but it is karma. It is balance. You have temperance and justice here. So that's a whole lot of balance. You guys are good to go. Um, maybe could be a court case, could be a marriage. Um, maybe it's like a really quick, really quick marriage. Maybe somebody gets pregnant and you decide you want to go marry them or they want to marry you or something like that. That's something unexpected. Um, but for both of these to be with the tower, I don't necessarily see the tower as as a bad change. You know, tower moments can be uncomfortable and shit because it's not something that we can prepare for. But with justice and the page of cups with it, I don't see it as as it's going to be a bad thing in your life. Okay? Now, give me another clarifier for the 5 of swords down here in your outcome. King of Cups reverse, guys. This is your energy as well as Cancer and Scorpio. Um, so the King of Cups reverse. Make sure you are not cutting yourself off from your emotions. Make sure you are feeling your feelings. Um, make sure you're not feeling them too much. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. But make sure you're not being dramatic. Make sure you're not, you know, throwing fits, throwing tantrums. Make sure that your emotions are in check, that you are feeling them, but they're not taking over, okay? Now, let's get you some advice. advice you have the full reverse Aries card and I don't think that the signs really matter as in the in the advice position star reverse so you have Aries and Aquarius here if that means anything to you maybe as advice cards all right here's what I see the full reverse this is this advises you to slow down don't just jump right into anything okay like you have this tower over here um, don't just jump right into anything don't take that risk. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into, okay? And the star, this is, it's it's like a hopeless type feeling. You're not healing from something. You're kind of feeling kind of hopeless, right? Maybe kind of drained. Um, don't let yourself get in that state, all right? Make sure you, you still have hope. Make sure you are healing. You're taking care of yourself. Um, whatever happens here with this tower, whether it's a good or bad change for you, it's probably going to be stressful, right? It, towers aren't easy. Um, so make sure you are taking time for your, your healing, taking time for yourself, you know, looking at the situation clearly, um, taking time to process, that sort of thing. Okay? All right. Good luck, guys. Take care.